Hi guys, welcome to another Source Sounds video. We've got a Mercedes Vito 2015 commercial vehicle that the customer wanted to upgrade the audio system to something with the facility for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. What we've done is we've fitted the Kenwood uh, HD DMX7520 dabs, a uh, fantastic screen this, really good quality. But I'll show you what we've done now because we've retained the existing reverse camera and it fits lovely in the dash i'll show it you now right so at the rear of the vehicle this is the uh, reverse factory reverse camera location what i'm going to do is this pops down so one of the clever things we've done is managed to retain this and work through this kenwood screen but i'll show you this pop down and i'll show you the, the screen inside the vehicle right so that's the uh panel where the camera drops down from as you can see it's quite clever and closes up out of the way but i'll get inside the vehicle now show it you're all working Right, so we're now inside the vehicle. So I'll turn the ignition on and uh, you can see what we've done here. So we've cleverly put a Mercedes-Benz boot up logo on that screen, which is nice. As you can see how well this fits, it finishes lovely in the dash. Fits nice, works nice. It will actually turn that, that screen will turn off after 10 seconds if you touch it. So now let's just talk you through the stuff on this HD Kenwood screen. So this is the DMX 7520 dabs, one of our favorite screens. Quality is absolutely first class. Um, I'm going to show you the reverse camera, which we have ta already talked about. But obviously, this has got DAB digital radio. It's got AM, FM radio. It's got Bluetooth calls, Bluetooth streaming. Has an AV in and a HDMI input, uh, as well as a USB. So we've put the USB, actually, we've retained this USB panel. So we've actually retained that there, which is quite clever. Uh, the microphone is up there, out of the way, and the DAB aerial is just on the corner of the windscreen there. And again, from the driver's side, you can hardly see that. We've retained the steering wheel controls, as you would expect. And also, like I mentioned to you earlier on, that uh, if we put this uh, vehicle in reverse, so now we've gone into reverse, as you can see there, that's retained the uh, the the... the reverse camera and then if i just take it out of reverse then obviously that comes back out now let's give you a bit more information on this screen so if we go through there obviously it's got the facility for apple carplay android auto main reason for having this the gentleman has android auto and that will give you the facility to use the android auto the maps google maps etc etc this also has got a dash camera fitted so what we've actually done and i haven't shown you as of yet but we fitted the dash camera up here so that's the, the unit, the cables go up and out of the way, really, really cool. And as you can see that now is is showing you the picture of in front of the vehicle there, which is, uh, and you can see how wide. So from my car here, you can see that's quite close, but you can see how wide that actually sees. It sees halfway up the bank and it sees the whole of our building there. So this obviously would allow you to see the rear camera and obviously the dash camera. So on dash camera at the minute, if I go into the settings on the dash camera, this then will on the screen allow me to play back the settings and adjust the settings on the screen. And then if I press the camera again, it goes back into the normal menu. So for further information on upgrading your vehicle to add a reverse camera or retain reverse camera or add a better infotainment system and also to add a dash camera to your vehicle, give the specialists at Source a call on 0114 257 1550. Thank you for watching.